Hello everybody, welcome to Monday, welcome to another week. Hope you're having a great start to the week. Not much going on here in Sikup, it's all pretty, pretty Monday morning really. <laughs> um, thanks for all the replies we got to and emails from, from um, our video on Friday regarding what would you be prepared to do, cut your hair, not cut your hair, costumes, eyebrows, makeup, all that kind of thing. And we've had some very interesting responses. Someone has suggested we talk about, um, are you prepared to wear fur? That's an interesting one, isn't it? Anyway, we shall, we shall get on to that <coughs> as we um, put those together and go through them. We'll, um, we'll be able to, um, to get on to that and um, ask you some more questions about that, maybe on Wednesday. So in the meantime, I just want to tell you quickly about the interview we're doing tomorrow with Paul Nicholas for our next cover. Paul Nicholas is a bit of a theatre legend, obviously, and he's a really interesting person for our cover. Because did you know, Paul Nicholas, is comp he's got a new book coming out, by the way, Mar Musicals, Marigolds and Me. Musicals, obviously, that that goes without saying. Marigolds, because he was in the, um, the Marigold Hotel BBC series, and... Um, and me, <laughs> it's all about him, um, which is fantastic. And obviously, he was in Just Good Friends on the BBC with Jan Francis and all sorts going on. He played Vince in the eighties, written by John Sullivan. Did you know John Sullivan wrote Just Good Friends? And he wrote Citizen Smith, um, all of, all from um, the Fools and Horses creator. So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, very successful. Anyway, um, Paul obviously created the role of Claude in Hair in the 60s, the end of the 60s. So, very interesting. Um, and he's completely untrained. He's never been to drama school, so he got that. Then he played Jesus Christ Superstar. He played Jesus, the and he, he went on to um, do all sorts of things. He, the people he quotes in the book has meeting before they were famous Cameron Mackintosh while he was running around arranging auditions and all sorts of for people um obviously Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice Jesus Christ Superstar the people he met in hair Tim Curry Elaine Page before they were all really famous or anything they were all just starting out this is all their first first production probably and um um, Richard O'Brien from Rocky Horror fame. He, he, Richard O'Brien played Paul some. It's so interesting. Played Paul all sorts of songs from this musical he was writing called The Rocky Horror Show. See, you just gotta. So, if you want to subscribe and see, read this cover article we're going to be doing, this cover interview, the links are below. Um, if you want to subscribe, just click on that link below this video if you're watching this on YouTube. Or if you're not, go to the YouTube link and click the link and then watch it on YouTube or just go to the Sardines website www.sardinesmagazine.co.uk press subscribe and it'll ask you to make sure you're registered, signed in then you can subscribe to Sardines and go from there but anyway, it's nice and quick today, that's it um, uh, obviously in the age... Uh, Paul Nicholas, sorry, going back to Paul Nicholas, he, he starred in Andrew Lloyd Webber, went back to him when he was doing his Cats, so he was in the Cats um, opening cast, he originated the role of Rum Tum Tugger, and again, Judy Dench was cast in that as Grizabella, um, but she tore her hamstring just walking across the rehearsal room. Um, because after the warm-ups, I believe, and Elaine Page had to step in and play it, and we all know what happened to Elaine Page, and the song Memory became iconic, didn't it? And he was in Greece. he's produced Greece as well, he's direct, you know, um, played Danny Zuko, Elaine Page played Sandy in the first production of Greece to hit the stage. Um, it goes on and on and on. It's just fantastic. You've got to you've got to read our article, our cover story interview with Paul Nicholas coming up. It's so interesting. Do it. Um, and untrained. So there we go. Completely undrama schooled. He's the real deal, and he questions everything. And in his new book, Musicals, Marigolds, and Me, he puts every single thing he's ever done, even the flops, even the the shows that didn't start, 
that closed before they opened, the ones that opened for a few days. He's put everything in. Everything goes in there. It's a complete um, biography, if you like, of what he's done and, and how he did it and how he got to do it and who he met on the stage, on the set. It's, it's so fascinating. The films, the TV shows, the theatre he's done. He was a pop star in the 70s, of course, wasn't he? With Dancing in the Captain, Grandma's Party, Reggae Like It Used to Be. Um, so, yeah, 1976. Um, but there we go. Um, <laughs> have I said enough? I think so. Um, subscribe to Sardines. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. Share this video with um, if you just share if you're if you've got a YouTube account you can press share or otherwise just press share and share it to your Facebook or Twitter page. It's very easy. It's just a click of buttons these days. So give it a go. See if you like it. Um, there we go. Stay safe. Stay well. We're back. See you later. Bye for now.